Just a few weeks ago, we went to Apollo Bay, which is a seaside town in Victoria. We're going to Apollo Bay, and oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Finally. And I can see Oscar there as well. Oscar, Oscar. Whenever I look at my dog, I try to imagine how he would feel, and I see it almost as a memory like I've been him before. going to the ocean because it gives me such a feeling of freedom. This is so beautiful. As if I'm free with the waves. This is one of my favourite places to visit. This relates to the film we're making because it's about how time can slow down or reverse or maybe even project itself when the memories never actually happened. A year ago we went to Apollo Bay and I had my painting with me, which was a painting that I did for our feature film. We filmed the final scene on an ancient lake bed in Victoria. And my painting represents a portal through which you can travel through alternative dimensions of space and time. It's like not telling the difference between a memory and a dream. I love you so much, baby. And I can imagine, okay, I can't wait, I can't wait to see your painting. Oh my gosh, what's this? of that painting in that car that is probably a bit wet that is one of my favorite paintings that I painted in Colac is called um, Butterfly Nebula of the Infinite Portal Star Universe. It was so great to be back to the forest. It was the zoo I was just there yesterday. on your arm or something. I'm doing this the painting. What are you? I'm a doctor. For what? For the painting. I'm seeing if it's wet. Okay. No, I think you walk all over the patient. Anyway. Look, this part um, has a pin pull. This is a pin pull right here. This is a bit wet. Oh, this is wet. The, oh my god, this painting has a big pimple here. Are you okay? Yeah. Is that what happens? No. Wait, let me try. <laughs> Put your hand there. Keep going. I'm, I'm adi actually adding envelope. Are you spitting? Oh. We should do it on the lake bed. It's fantastic. Oh, I'm, I'm serious. I love sketching so much. It makes me really calm and makes me think about how 
um, there's so much to see in the world. I love to draw realistic drawings as much as I love to paint abstraction. Both of the art styles are so beautiful and even though my paintings don't look like they're planned, they're magically guided by my internal subconscious and nature. You've got lots of eucalypts and ferns here. Just amazing. And knowing that I'm in the middle of a rainforest gives me so much happiness and inspiration to draw. This beautiful waterfall is one of them. It's amazing and it gives me hope that I might be able to draw that thing much better in the future. Coming. <laughs> 